post, I need my nails done right now on my Instagram, right? Somebody I don't even know from a different city, a different state, be like, how much your nails? Send me your cash that check. Nigga and drop it. And, or they might not, and they just, they they just want to make you smile. They or whatever the heck. So that's what I'm saying. You're expecting loyalty whenever we get what you're giving us from people we don't even know without even having to ask for it. So why we don't even got to do nothing for it. Of- no, just uh, bring a play or stay away. That's how I feel. Ooh! <laughs> you should get a f***ing game. Bring a play or stay away. What are we really talking <laughs> about? So this Look, I could post, I need my nails done right Bro. In my experiences, the women that talk that talk like this can't do nothing for you. And secondly, the dudes that are doing that type of shit, simps, bro. Simps. Simps. Any man that's out here just sending random ass money to strange women is a simp. I'm not going to hold you. I had I, I had a family member that, that did something in that, in that regards. And, you know, I didn't want to judge. But I'm going to tell you what he did. He never met her. Probably spoke to her like a few times, bro. He used to send her money during the day to get something to eat. The one time he sent the money to get her nails done. And then, when they were supposed to go on a date, she stood him up. I was acting like I wasn't judging, but I was judging, bro. I fuck with him now. He cool. He a cool dude. Smart as hell. But when it came to the woman, I, I felt as though that wasn't his strong point. That bitch said, bring a player, stay away. Y'all dudes out here that's doing this type of simping and, and these type of whole nations, you know what I'm saying, donating to these hoes, y'all making it bad for the rest of us out here. Y'all making it okay for them to 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 talk like this and, and, and to shit on us. Bring a play or stay away. Bitch, can you cook? Huh? Can you clean? Matter of fact, fuck all that. We together, I'm taking care of you, I get hurt. Can you go out there and get it like I was getting it for us? Probably not. Yo, it's so many good women out here, bro. It's so many good women out here. As propaganda would have it, they just keep showing us this, these type of things, bro. I was talking to a dude the other day that said he only date that have BBLs. You only date bitches that have BBLs. You like plastic cheeks? Bro, what in the Fred Flintstone is going on here? This man is stopping his bicycle with his toenails. Let me tell you something. The reason why I be telling y'all not to um, trip about these men and whatnot is because I I work in the healthcare field. I've been in the healthcare field since I was 18 years old. They're dying alone. They're dying alone. The women that's in these places, their their daughters are coming and bringing them to the nail shops, getting their hair done, coming to see yeah. them every. Sorry, their daughters are coming to see them every two weeks. You better ask somebody. I'm in I am the one who is right there when some of these men are taking their last breath. I have cleaned so many dead bodies and guess what? None of nobody showed up for them. Not their kids, not their wives, not not their grandkids. Nobody came for them because why? They were not they were not good men while they were alive. They're going to continue dying alone. That's why I tell y'all don't trip. <laughs> I'm physically seeing it on a daily basis, watching them all go by themselves. And this is their grandpas that they're talking about. These are the men that they're talking about. This is their grandpas that's dying alone. And it's going to be them. That's just the reality of shit. That's why I don't be worried about these men talking. Because, baby, I watch y'all every day go by yourselves with nobody on y'all side. People tend to try to justify their situation. To me, it looked like she a single mother. So she's trying to justify why she don't have a man in her life right now. Maybe you chose the wrong guy. Or maybe it's just you. And based on the fact that you sitting here 
putting out this filth. I'm thinking it's you. Hi, I'm Lena the Plug. I am an adult creator. My name is Adam22, and I co-own Plug Talk with my lovely wife. We interview a different girl every week. And then we f*** them at the end. But we've only ever done it with other women. So we've arranged this whole challenge to find the perfect guy to be our first ever boy-boy-girl threesome. Cheers! Lena, I came ready to f***. Do you want to do a dance-off? Oh, yeah. I would love to see a dance-off. <laughs> Yo, that's um. Yo, bro, bro, bro. Hold on, bro. Bro, I don't think y'all understand, dog. So a few months ago, they went viral because. She did a scene with, um, I think son name is Jason Love. If you ever seen any Jason Love movie, bro, you already know. Son real posted her whole inside. They did an interview the next week where she was talking about her feel the same. Now, mind you, this is his wife. So now he's pimping his wife out on national TV. Now... Everybody relationship is how they decide to run their relationship. It's none of our business. But when you put it on, on the internet, of course, you are subjected to us judging. And I'm judging. I am judging, bro. There is no way that they are really married. Like, that, that, that can't be a serious relationship. Because I'm telling you right now. I can't watch no other man beat down my wife. The relationship is over after that. I, I don't know how nigga. I'm telling you, you play stupid games, you, you win stupid prizes. Because it's only a matter of time before y'all do that and she find the perfect penis. Believe it or not, you were not your wife's first choice. You were not your girl's first choice. Okay? It's a dude out here that your wife wish you could be or she wish she had. And it's only a matter of time if you keep playing these type of games... That she gonna hit the jackpot. It's only a matter of time. And then she gonna look in, she gonna be looking at you like like stale milk. Y'all keep playing, bro. He's stupid. If you really he probably don't love her, bro. And this and this, you know what? If Adam come out and say, yo, I'm a pimp, that's then you know. It don't make it okay. Pimping ain't right. But if he come out and say, yeah, you know, I'm a pimp, like, then that, that it's okay. It's not okay, but I would get it. But in this situation, they're making a mockery of being married, and I don't appreciate that. Damn, yeah, bro, I got my order on. You lying, swear to God. Bro, I ask for no ice and no onions, but it's all good. I ain't tripping like this. Give me the bag. We don't get the right order. Nah, it's all good. I ain't tripping like that, bro. I'm grateful for what I got. Nah, f*** that. You spent your hard earned money on this food. It's not all good. They throw you some bullshit. They playing with your character, dog. Give me this shit. I don't want to talk to everybody this shit, man. Y'all got me messed up. All right. Hey, bro, that used to be my wife. <laughs> Whatever. My girlfriend's ex got sick and blew the night, so she left me to go make sure he was okay. She did what? She left me to go make sure. I heard you the first time, fool. What the f***? Call her back and say that shit over with. That shit no, quiet. It's not even that serious. You just being a good That's person. me. Dude, she disrespecting you in the most disrespectful way. A human can disrespect another human. And you That's go, me. She f that. Are you, are you insane? That's me. Give me the phone, bro. But let me give me back up, bro. Yeah, hello. Yeah, you must think my guy circus clown. We're not going for that shit, Charlie. No, nah, st st stay on that side. That's me. Stay on that side. No, he I love hates you. you. I love he you. He hates you now. Bye. Stop this. Hey, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now. Don't call me telling me nothing that your girl didn't did. I'm that friend. I'm that friend. I'm not finna sit there and, and Mahatma Gandhi, Mother Teresa, I'm not finna sit there and peaceful enough in that situation. That cheating. Don't tell. She got a who? Huh, her ex-boyfriend still cool. Oh, nah, he's still, he still tapping them cheeks. I'm that friend. Don't call me and tell me nothing. I don't want to hear nothing going on in your relationship, dog. I'm, I'm letting you know right now. In your relationship, you shouldn't want outside people's advice. 
and you shouldn't want to tell your friends about the bad things that your girl or your boyfriend are doing because that's going to give them a preconceived notion of who your boyfriend or girlfriend is. Yeah. Hold on, let me call you back. Who did this shit to you, bro? Bro, just let it go. Let what go? Huh? Your name's bro. You can't even walk. Give me a name, bro. Give me a name. Give me a motherfucking name or the whole city gonna feel this shit, bro. Give me a name, dog. Eric. Yeah. Alright. Wait, wait, what you gonna do? I'm gonna do what you ain't got the heart to do. That's what I'm <laughs> Just sit tight, little bro. I'll be back. Just sit tight. Damn, bro, I'm gonna order. I'ma do what you ain't got the heart to do. Hey bro. I'm trying to figure out who I know like this. Like that particular person right there. Damn, that might be me. Again. That might be me again, bro. When we was doing music, bro. Me and my boy Brandon, so I'm overdose lads and he's overdose BMO. He network a lot, so he used to find these people and then I'll come around and I'll be sitting there, I'll be quiet and shit. And me, I don't really trust nobody, so I'll just try to, f I'll just be looking at them like, looking at certain maneuvers and mannerisms and how they speak. Because if you sit back and you listen to people, no matter what they say or what they try to say, you listen close enough, they'll tell you the truth about who they are. And I used to always catch these fucking snakes, bro. And he used to be giving them a chance, and I'd be like, bro, be careful. Be careful. Mmm. Do you have a passport? Yes, I do. Okay, and have you been outside the U.S.? Yes, I have. Why don't Americans travel outside the U.S.? Because it's stupid. Do you know what the women in the DR will do for you? <laughs> oh, shit. I Seriously, do you know? What would they do, bro? I went there with my father, cause like I'm like, damn, damn. Why do you keep running down here? I thought you was doing something illegal. The reason why you have a passport is for the women in the Dominican Republic. Well, plus I want to see other parts of the country in the exactly. world. Exactly. I heard that the women in London, in England, in France do things American women would never think about. <laughs> oh shit! And I'm nasty. Respect it, bro. I'm nasty. I'm nasty. <laughs> I'm nasty. He wanted to let y'all know I'm nasty. But um, you you can go to all these these third world countries and meet beautiful women, and uh, they treat you like kings. Now, I love my black sisters. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna say some evil things, so let me go ahead and shout myself. I love my black sisters. My my wife is uh, African American, beautiful lady. I see her in the videos, but I feel as though I speak for all men when I say that we do be fantasizing about these, um, you know, these foreign women. I understand that a lot of y'all, you know, your solution to a lot of things is to get you a passport and to go to one of these foreign countries, but. I'd be, like, curious to know if you've ever really been around Hispanic women. Because I've, I've worked with Hispanic women. I've been around. And not, not the ones that are Americanized. Like, I've been around Hispanic women, bro. I'm not going to act like some of them aren't extremely loyal. I'm talking about loyal to the point where they wouldn't speak to you because they're married. In some situations, some of them are that loyal because they men be whooping they ass. Some of these women are so loyal because their men be beating they ass. But on the flip side of that, bro, when these women be be thoughts, when they be loose, I don't know if any of you guys ever heard me say this, bro, but I have never seen a guy that was in a relationship with a Hispanic woman and after that relationship, he was the same. Them niggas be having PTSD. Most Hispanic women, their sex appeal, they you don't have to teach them sex appeal. It's like something, it's a part of their culture. Tell me if I'm wrong, but the Hispanic, the Latin women that I've been around, bro, like, they're, they, you don't have to teach them sex appeal. And they use that to their advantage. They use that to their advantage. Like, I've never been around a Latin woman who does not know how to control the room. In a room full of men, in a room full of men, they know how to control the room. They have the it have those that understand they have that power and don't use it. 
they just use it on their husband and they have those that use it on everybody and create fucking conflict upon conflict. That's what I'm trying to get to. They have those women that, that use that shit and create conflict. I'm talking about you talking to her and she's supposed to be your girl and you wondering why this dude is looking at you crazy or why you beefing with everybody and all the dudes around you don't like you and you thinking, oh, niggas is jealous because I got... They are jealous, but that's because she poisoned them. They're, tr they're acting like that towards you because she used her sex appeal to poison them. So, yes, we can you can be a passport, bro, but... Stay up, keep her ass over there. Wherever you go, you go to DR, stay over there with her. You you go to uh um um if she was one of those that, that exudes sex appeal and she used that on all the men around her, you're gonna have a problem. I'm letting you know right now you're gonna have a problem.